Now, geometric sequence is basically sequence of numbers with common ratio. And that's the difference of geometric sequ sequence and arithmetic sequence. Now, the formula that we are using now will be different, and it's going to be a sub n equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So this is the formula for geometric sequence that we will use today. Now, a sub 1 is the first term. r will be the common ratio for our sequence, and n is the number or uh, the specific number in the sequence that we are going to find later on. Now for our first example, we're going to verify if the series of numbers that we have is considered to be a geometric sequence. And to do that, all we have to do is to find the common ratio for each of the pair of terms. So for the first pair, we have 6 and 3. So simply divide the second term to your first term to get the common ratio. So 6 divided by 3 will give us 2. 12 divided by 6 will give us 2. 24 divided by 12 will give us 2. And if you'll notice, our quotient are all consistently equal to 2. So that means we have a common ratio for this sequence. So therefore, number 1 is verified to be a geometric sequence. Now for number two, to verify if it's a geometric sequence, we're simply going to repeat what we did on example number one. So divide four and eight, and you'll get one half. Two divided by four is also one half, and one divided by two will give us one half, which is common to all the quotient of each of these pair of numbers in our sequence, that means the common ratio exists and it's verified to be a geometric sequence. Now to find the 12th term of a geometric sequence given 5, 15, and 45, we're going to use the formula, which is a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1, and find the 12th term of the sequence by plugging in the value of a sub 1, r, and n in our formula. Now a sub 1 is easy to find because it's given, and it's the first term of the given sequence, which is 5. Now r will verify if it's the same. So if we divide 15 divided by 5, which gives us 3, and 45 divided by 15 is also 3, so therefore r is equal to 3, and n is equal to 12 because it's the 12th term of the sequence that we are looking for. Now to plug it into the, to the formula, we'll have a sub 12, which is the 12th term, equal to 5 times 3 to the 12 minus 1, and evaluating our exponent, 3 raised to 11 will give us 177,147 multiplied by 5, and our 12th term for this geometric sequence will be 885,735.